have another essay um, and it's on the causes of the American Revolution. <clears throat> and let me pull up the, uh, the assignment here. All right, so you have your intro here. I kind of did for you. Um, and it's America became a new nation because of the determination and leadership of individuals who advocated and pushed for the creation of a country governed for the first time with the people's consent. Um, what were the event strategies and people that made the American Revolution happen? That's not really a true introduction, but or a true begin to an essay, but I'm kind of just want you guys to work on developing your ability to write paragraphs. And then I gave you some uh, kind of <clears throat> points to kind of think about. Um, Britain needed money to pay for defending the colonies from threats and rationally tax the colonists. America, Americans didn't see this tax this way. What were these taxes? Who resisted against them? And how did Americans avoid paying these taxes? So in that, with that, with those questions in mind, the PDF um, on page 99, um, kind of in page 98 and 99, you could, you know, come up with a sentence that, you know, Britain had spent a lot of money on the war, the French and Indian War in the Americas and felt justified in taxing Americans to pay for, to help pay for uh, the war and future uh, you know, future troops in the, in the colonies. And then, um, so you, you can, another in, on page uh, 99 of your PDF, you have, uh, James Otis's taxation without representation. They felt that the Americans weren't being uh, represented in England and therefore shouldn't be forced to pay taxes in Americas if they weren't, if they didn't have any representation, weren't being, uh, their, their opinions weren't being presented before Parliament. Um, also, Sam Adams, you know wrote, created, uh, wrote essays arguing, you know, for independence. And he also created communities of uh, correspondence where they would discuss uh, ways um, and shared ideas on how to challenge these British laws. They organized boycotts, um, Sam Adams, John Hancock, uh, Benjamin Franklin. I mean, these were just a few of the, the ones, the most famous men who were associated with uh, kind of creating the environment for the uh, revolution. And then you, you know, then you had the different actual acts that the British passed. Uh, they, they had the Sugar Act, the Stamp Act, the Townsend Act, the Tea Act, and all of them being repealed because of the boycotts. So you, uh, kind of work all those ideas into a paragraph. Um, and that's paragraph one. And then paragraph two here, you know, the, the revolution beginning in Boston, but that one you focus on the Boston Massacre, May, uh, March 5th, 1770, kind of what that meant. You can, again, you can read that in your, uh, your PDF about that, that's on page 101 in your PDF. And then you have on the, the Boston Tea Party was on 102, you know, throwing the tea overboard and, and kind of what the consequences of that and how that really pushed America and uh, Britain towards revolution as Britain with the intolerable acts punished America or punished the Boston in Massachusetts colonists uh, for for uh, kind of supporting that uh, 
insurrection or that the, uh, the, the Tea Party. Paragraph three, um, who are the main agitators? Again, you could again, Benjamin Franklin, Sam Adams. We've kind of talked about them a little bit already. Um, and then, you know, maybe we kind of repeat a little bit about, you know, what they were doing with the boycotts and the, and the essay writing and the newspapers uh, that they were producing. Benjamin Franklin was a, was a, you know, a serious uh, printing person in, in the colonies, and very famous for being able to distribute information through the print media. And then conclusion, you kind of talk about what you already talked about. Um, so make sure you don't repeat yourself, but to kind of sum up some of your points in the previous three paragraphs. And, um, so that might give you a little bit of a um, uh, kind of a little bit of a kind of a kind of what's in my head, what, what you should be doing for this assignment. So hopefully that helps.